Hey guys, what's up? This is Carr with Delvi Films, and today I have a cool tutorial on how to create 3D text within After Effects CS6. And once we're done, it's going to look something like this. Alright, so let's get started. Go ahead and open up After Effects CS6 and then import all of your footage. Alright, once you've got everything imported, go ahead and drag your main footage down to the composition button to create a new composition. And all I have really here in this video is a short four second video that I've shot in a parking lot with three tracker points, which I used index cards actually for this, but you can use anything for tracker points. But you're going to want to go ahead and go to the effects and presets and find camera tracker. Once you've found it, just drag it over your footage and it's going to immediately start analyzing the background layer, which depending on the length of your clip may take a couple minutes or may take hours. But I'm going to go ahead and let this analyze and I'll come back to y'all when it's done. Alright, so the camera solving has finished and it's created a bunch of these keyframes for us to attach things to. And I'm liking this one right here, so I'm going to go ahead and click it and select it. Then I'm going to right click it and choose create text and camera. And I'm just going to wait for that to load a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click on our text layer. And let's go ahead and type in fall like in the preview. That's way too big, so let me lower the font size a little bit. Yeah, that's looking about right. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and fix it because right now it's flat and I want it to actually be standing up. So I'm going to go under the transformation and we're going to mess around with this. And I think we're going to go ahead and bring it up to 90 so it's completely standing up. That's looking about right. And let me go ahead and get rid of this extra text in there. There we go. And I actually think it's too small now. Let me bump the size up a little bit more. And let me go ahead and reposition this. Alright, now we're getting ready to make it look really 3D. So we're going to go down here to the geometry. And we're going to go ahead and mess with the extrusion depth to make it look more 3D. And that's looking that's looking about right and where I want it to be. Now I we're not gonna use the color black for this because we're gonna be adding lights to this scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to white. And we're gonna condense everything. And now we're gonna go to new layer and create a new light. I'm not liking the color blue, so let me change it to a fall color. Maybe uh Maybe a red, maybe a, maybe a more orange red. Ah, uh, that, that's that's looking about right. Let me let me go with that color. And that's more where I want it to be, but I also want the footage to be reflected onto the text. So this is really easy to do. We are just going to duplicate our footage and we're gonna right click it and once you've right clicked it it sh should have under it environment layer so just go up to that and click environment layer and now once you've done that you're gonna wanna go back to your text layer and go under materials and find where it says I think it's reflection intensity yeah it's a, it's reflection intensity and just mess around with this I'm, I'm thinking about 22 is fine I, it may even be too much but I think I'm gonna go with that for right now yeah this is looking about right now I'm gonna go ahead and go layer new adjustment layer and I'm gonna give it a little bit of an orange tint so the text fits with the footage Let me do that real quick. Uh, that a little bit darker. Yeah, that's that's looking about right. Yeah. 
Now we're going to go ahead and turn down the opacity a little bit so there's just a hint of it in the scene. So I'm thinking about 10. Let's see how that looks. That's looking okay, but I think a little bit more would go a long way with this. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and go to New Adjustment Layer and go down to Curves. And we're going to fix the curves in this a little bit. So let me do that real quick. Looking so much better. Alright, that's looking good. Now go ahead and do new another new adjustment layer. And we're going to... I like to do this just to polish everything up by going to Color Correction, Auto Color, Color Correction, Auto Contrast, and Color Correction Levels. And that's looking pretty good the way it is right now. And you can continue to toy around with this and change it the way you like it, but right now I think this is this is pretty good. Everything's tracked properly and stuck in our scene properly. So thank you for watching my tutorial. Uh, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.